Hey everyone, Susanna here. I've been asked multiple times to detail how I use various sourcing tools throughout my process. I figured a real life example would be best for explanation. In this case, I was given a new job requirement, the one that you see in front of you. This specific position is for a Magento developer. Now, I've never worked on one of these roles before and am not even familiar with the term Magento. But when scanning the job description, I'm looking for three key items. One, the job title itself, which of course is Magento Developer. I'm also looking for the location of the job, which I can see is either greater Los Angeles area, or further down in the description, it mentions Santa Monica specifically. And the third thing that I look for are keywords. These are typically requirements. So scanning this position, I can see that to be successful in this role, you should have completed a Magento Developer Certification. To me, this means there's probably more than one potential Magento Developer Certification. Now, when I try and craft my Boolean search strings, I like to include acronyms for certifications because not everybody spells them out on their profiles. But just to get a feel for the landscape and the talent within this California area, I'm going to go on ahead and dive in and do an, a LinkedIn advanced search. And I'm going to be searching for the keywords. Let's see here. Magento and developer are already in the job title. So I'm going to use certification or certified. Throw in some natural language. Filter this to people only. Add the location of the greater Los Angeles area. And I'm also going to add the job title, Magento and developer, as well as some variations of developer. Let's see what sort of results come in. A whopping nine results. Well, that's a little deflating. Perhaps people, just as we suspected, aren't spelling out Magento certified or Magento developer certification. So let's take a deeper dive and really try and understand better how to craft our search accordingly. I'm gonna do a simple search to learn more about Magento developer certifications. The first site that populates here seems pretty credible. I can see a directory of certified. That seems enticing. Let's go on ahead and give that a click. Sure enough, this is a complete certification directory of Magento certified professionals. Holy cow, I hit the jackpot. This is completely searchable. And in this case, I'm looking in the United States. Uh, scrolling down. And specifically in the California. And let's run that search. Now in front of me here, I have 13 pages of results. That's considerably more than the, excuse me, than the nine results that were pulled from LinkedIn. Now, how am I going to go about capturing this information? I could go about this a few different ways. First, I could copy and paste the table. Copy. Ooh, don't take a sneak peek at that. All right, paste. And let's be honest, that table did not copy paste very well. The data formatting is not quite precisely what we're looking for. Another way to go on ahead and capture this information is by clicking on the specific person's profile. That would take a long time to review each of the profiles. However, if I did feel enticed to look up this particular profile, what I could do is I could highlight the name, right click, 
and use my find person on LinkedIn shortcut. Sure enough, we have the same user profile on LinkedIn of the same individual that's certified in the Los Angeles area. But again, back to this table, how in the world are we going to go about documenting this information so that we can start building out a target list of candidates? Well, there's a handy dandy tool here called Instant Data Scraper. This is completely free, very user friendly. By clicking the Instant Data Scraper Chrome extension, it immediately pulls what it thinks is the best table that I would like to search. In this case, I'm not wanting to search these various countries, so I'm gonna click try another table. Still nothing. Try another table. Still nothing. Lo and behold, it has found the table that I want to scrape. Now, I see here where there are 13 different pages of results, and the instant data scraper gives you a way to actually auto-paginate. What I mean by that is that I can locate the next button so that I don't have to scrape 13 pages individually. Clicking locate next button and then identifying where that button is. Click start crawling and y'all, we are in business. We've already scraped to the second page, waiting 10 seconds in between. And just for time's sake, I'm gonna go on ahead and stop this and show you the final results. Earlier today, I went on ahead and scraped the entire US Magento certification database, and this is what it pulled. We would have seen something very similar if it was just California-based of course, but I, I went on ahead and took it another step. Um, as you can see here, we have the various names of individuals. And wouldn't it be great if we didn't have to search for each one of them individually on LinkedIn? Well, there's a way to do that. Now, on LinkedIn, when you're doing a person search, the URL has a certain format to it. What I mean by that is, Let's go on ahead and use myself as an example. Up here in the URL, my name is positioned in key places. So by copying, pasting, excuse me, I don't want it in the trash, there we go. By copying and pasting this URL, I have a better understanding of where my keywords are going to be incorporated. So I am going to try to replace Susanna Frazier with all of these various names. How I'm going to go about doing that is copying these names here and in between each of the spaces I'm going to add this percent %20 just like the one in the previous URL. Edit, find, replace, replace all of the spaces with percent %20, replace all, okay. Now, using a Excel function called concatenate, I'm doing the best I can to pronounce that, I'm gonna start creating a specific URL for each of these individuals. Here we go. And uh oh. Let's try this. Let's see. Oops. Wrong button there. Bear with me. It's really cool when it works, I promise. Okay, there we go. Forgot my quotation marks. And here you can see that we now have the LinkedIn URL for Brent Peterson. By dropping down this bar, I now have a searchable URL for 
every single certified Magento developer in the United States. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be searching for all of these different individuals at the same time, but what I can do is I can go on ahead and copy the value of the different formulas that we just made and select, let's start with like mm, 20 different profiles. Open up a Chrome extension called, oh, excuse me, bulk URL opener. And from here, I'm able to copy and paste all of the URLs that we just created. And let's see our results. Another keyword we could have uh, potentially put into this URL list, URL list would have been Magento because that would have been applicable. But let's see what happens. All right, we have Brent W. Peterson. Let's go ahead and circle back and see if this is the same Peterson. St. Louis Park, Minnesota. And we have Greater Minneapolis. Fantastic. Now, our next profile is Mark Schist. And sure enough, we, ladies and gentlemen, are finding the profiles that we are actually wanting. Alrighty, let's see. Josh Pratt cross-reference our list here. Looks like he was in Texas. So I'm going to add the keywords Texas or Magento. Let's see who we come up with. Oh, goodness. Magento programming in Texas. Now, for time's sake, yet again, I'm going to go on ahead and just focus on those three profiles that we were able, able to pull. Directly from their LinkedIn profile, I'm able to use Hire Tool to add these individuals to a project. And by doing so, I'm able to collect all of their contact information. So I'm adding them to the Magento Developer Project. And the next profile I'm going to add to the Magento Developer Project. And finally, the next one. All right, now opening up my Hire Tool dashboard. Looking at my Magento Developer pro target list here, I have the three profiles that we just added. Each of these profiles has their associated social links, their skills, their current job title, location, all of this information right here. But what I really love about it is that it pulls their contact information for me. Now imagine that however many 800 and something list of Magento developers, I could select all here in Hire Tool and then export that list And here in my hands, I now have the contact information of every single Magento developer that I am trying to target. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how I go about using tools to build target lists and craft my sourcing strategy. I'm sure you have questions, and if so, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm very accessible at Marie. I hope you found this useful and look forward to seeing you next time.